poulet au vinaigre. Bon appétit. Okay, let's get started. Remember to check my uh, description for the ingredients, okay? That would be very precise. Um, so let's get started. We're going to take some olive oil. I'm using just regular olive oil, not extra virgin. And I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil there. I'm going to turn my heat. And I'm going to put it at a fairly high heat, a medium high. And what we're going to do, we are going to sear our chicken thighs. So I got four beautiful chicken thighs here. And I'm going to season it generously. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Beautiful. All right, now I got everything prepped and ready to go, so it makes it easy. So I got my tarragon and my thyme here. I got my garlic minced here. I got my shallot diced. I have my onion diced, half an onion. I got my uh, red vinegar. I got my wine. I got my, what the heck was that? <laughs> Chicken broth and my heavy cream. Now the heavy cream I'm going to put back in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. But I did want you to see that beautiful display I did for you guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get this nice and hot and we're going to start skin down. And we're just going to sear this. And probably about two or three minutes on each side till it's nice and browned. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. So hang in there. Because, yeah, I'll show you how it goes, but just hang in there. Okay, it's been about three, four minutes. And I don't want to over brown it. So I'm going to flip these. Do it another couple minutes. There we go. Beautiful. Couple minutes and then I'm going to remove them from the heat and we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to reduce it to medium heat. And we're going to go ahead and remove our chicken. Nice and brown. Beautiful. Oh, that one's sticking a little bit. There we go. Oh, come on, come on. All right. Okay, so we reduced that heat to a medium. I lowered it a little more than that because I wanted you to be able to hear me. <laughs> All right, now it's super easy. We add our onions. And you don't have to separate it like I did. It's just more visual. You can combine the garlic and all that. But you're going to drop all the onions in there. And the garlic. Make sure you get all that goodness in there. Now, I find a wooden tool like this is really handy. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just sweat these. And this will take about a couple minutes. Remember, this is very hot. We lowered the heat. And I'm scraping the bottom. So just mix that chicken fat into it. Beautiful. Give that a couple minutes. And then, if you don't have one of these, um, I mean, you can go to the grocery store in the States and buy can, canned tomato paste. But I always recommend the tubes. Uh, Europeans use this, and uh, you just use what you need, and you don't waste. And it's wonderful. Um, and honestly, you'll save a fortune by spending a little more for this, because you're going to use what you need. And what we're going to do 
is give this another minute maybe let's check oh yeah see all that bottom beautiful chicken fat is mixing in oh my gosh I wish you guys could smell this all right we're gonna just be generous about two tablespoons uh, excuse me one tablespoon about uh, approximately it's okay this is not bacon <laughs> all right we're just going to incorporate this in and really do a good job of scraping that bottom and you're just going to turn this and mix that tomato paste with the onions and another couple minutes here Keeping a little tarragon and a little thyme um, to the side, extra for garnishing, and uh, that always makes things nice. All right, now I think we're ready for our next step, and that's simply we're going to add the red wine vinegar. And this is about cup and a half Ooh, look at that beautiful stuff and this is just gonna add this beautiful flavor to it I mean this dish from Lyon is amazing you know Lyon is poulet au vinaigre just wonderful you know um, people think um, Paris is the king and I'm gonna get in trouble for this but Paris is the cooking capital of the world, but it's not. It's Lyon. Lyon has some amazing dishes. Uh, the finest culinary I think France has to offer. I mean, every region of France has their specialties, and yes. But if you go to one city and you're there, you're a foodie, and you just want to eat good, Lyon. Lyon. Amazing. Okay. So I am going to bring this to a boil now. <coughs> vinegar always makes me cough for some reason this red wine vinegar but we're gonna bring this to a boil and we're gonna reduce it to like a syrup so that's gonna take a few minutes but bring it to a boil and let it boil don't put it on medium, uh, high heat just the uh, most uh, medium heat okay so we'll be right back hang in there and we'll let this boil down and I'll show you what that looks like. Hang in there. Okay, we're back. Now, you see what that looks like? It's like a syrup, it's like uh, condensed. It's, you'll notice it'll start really calming down in the boil. So now right away, you don't want it to wait too long. You're gonna add your wine. And you're going to stir. And then you're going to bring it back to a boil. Make sure you deglaze with your spoon. I mean your tool. You can use metal, you can use wood, um, whatever you like. I like wood because it slides easy. All right. Now we're going to bring this back to a boil. And we're going to well, give it a, a minute, and then I'm going to reduce the heat. So there's my boil. I'm going to reduce the heat. And now I'm going to add my chicken stock. And if you make a mess like I just did, 
it's easier to clean it up a little bit right away. It'll save you time later. Okay, so we got to bring this back. And that's going to take a minute or two, so hang in there. Okay, when you start seeing it starting to come back to a boil, not quite, we're going to add our herbs now. And now we've got to be a little patient. Mix our herbs in. Bring it to a boil. Well, and then immediately reduce it to a medium, medium heat. Medium, depending on your stove. If it's really a hot stove, do a medium, just a shy under medium. If it's, uh, oh, here we go. There's our boil. So I'm going to reduce it to a medium. Beautiful. Now I'm going to add my chicken in here. All right, just make sure you reduce it to a simmer and then cover. That's simple. And we'll give it a nice 25 minutes and we'll be back. Hang in there. Oh my gosh, we're back. And the beauty of this, just beautiful. All right. Now we're going to take our chicken out. And be careful not to splatter. And we're just going to take these guys out. And I wish you could smell this. Just very unique dish, you know, adds a lot of flavor. And we are not done. We're just going to put that chicken aside. Don't have to keep it warm because we're going to add it back later. Now, we're going to reduce this, and we're going to add our cream. And we're going to reduce this by half. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now, we're just going to gently reduce this. And I mean gentle. You don't want to boil this. You just want to simmer it. So don't change the temperature. You got it on a low heat. Low, low, low heat. The lowest you got. And we're just going to let it do its thing. Yeah, let's bring it up a little bit. Until I get a little bubbly, and then I'm going to reduce it again. And so, how do you know it's about 50%? Well, the way I can tell is I look at these guys, these bolts, and when it's half where it is from now, I'm done. All right? And you always want to use a heavy pan. You can use. Uh, you know, a deep, heavy pan. You don't use like uh, something that's thin because it's it's not going to work too well. You can use this. You can use something like oh my gosh, something like this, right? Um, you do not want to use something you know like these thin pots, so heavy. All right, so we'll be back. We're going to reduce this and just increase the temperature. I mean, the okay, I'm starting to see the come back to a simmer here. And this is going to take another 10 minutes. So, um, once it comes to a little bit of a bubbly, reduce the heat to the lowest temperature and just kind of forget about it for a while, okay? So we'll be back. Hang in there. All right, we're back. And look at that. It has reduced by half. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our chicken and put it back in. And 
And what I like to do is I put it in and then turn it. So put it in and turn it. And that's it. Okay. Now we're just going to heat this up. Essentially, it's ready. So we're going to cover this and give it a good minute or two. If you want to do a side with this, which is a good idea, I recommend having in, um, I'm doing spring broccoli here and I'm just steaming it. Very easy. You see how it's already nice dark green color. That's what we want. So I'm going to turn off that heat. That only takes a few minutes in steam. And we're going to give this a minute or two. And we'll be ready to serve. So we'll be right back. We're going to change uh, camera angles. And that way you can see me serve this. And yeah, hang in there. All right, it's ready. Oh, my gosh. So super simple. You can do this anytime. Oh, my gosh. Delicious meal. The sauce is to die for. I suggest serving it with a baguette because you want to soak that sauce. It is so good. All right, so I'm just going to take these guys and put, turn it. Turn it, and then you want, oops, be generous with this beautiful sauce. Look at that. And then I got some steamed broccoli here. <laughs> Oh, we'll fall on my chicken. And these are, these aren't crowns, they are uh, spring broccolis. So young broccolis, some people call them. And uh, they just really tender, just go beautifully with this. And if you want, you can put a little bit more sauce with that. Add a little pepper, just slightly, on the chicken to taste. And I'm going to add, of course, a little salt to my broccoli. And just make sure there's enough sauce so people, if they want to put more of the broccoli into the sauce, they can. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and of course I would have forgotten. You're going to just take some tarragon leaves and drop that on your chicken. And then what I like to do is I put a little thyme on the side. Just give it just a little pretty look. So there you have it. Um, Lyonnais poulet au cidre. Just wonderful. So it's a dish from Lyon, France, uh, the culinary capital of France, in my opinion, the best food in France. Uh, every region has great food, but Lyon, oh my gosh, very unique, great chefs there. Um, chicken with a beautiful reduced um, vinegar red wine sauce. Bon appétit, bon soirée. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe! <laughs>